Yo, what's up guys? This is Carl the Great here. You know what? This will be the first Carl the Great experiment on YouTube. In fact, this experiment is on cleaning, restoring game consoles. Specifically, It would be on my Nintendo 64. In fact, when I got it at the now closed M&M video game store in Tampa on May 28, 2017 alongside my PS3 is super slim and a few years video games it had some difficulties recognizing game cartridges. In fact, one of these games I got at one time was Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. Yep, that's very old. It was released back in the year 1996. I could tell there was something wrong because I would insert the game cartridge into the console and turn it on only for nothing to show up on the TV. Even after cleaning the game cartridge, it went things didn't still wouldn't go well, at least at first. And so eventually started using a q-tip and rubbing alcohol to clean the cartridge slot of the n64 and it worked but was only a temporary solution in fact the rubbing alcohol evaporates would evaporate more quickly than water and once the cartridge slot is dry The console stopped recognizing game cartridges again, meaning I would have, I would have to clean those pins in the slot again. I know, and that's not good because in that case I would have had to do that just by every time I wanted to play on my Nintendo sixty four, or at least use it. Oh, it was such a pain. And I had to keep on doing this up until now when I found out that I can do a more permanent solution. A more permanent fix. Yep, I'll show you. Yep, this is my Nintendo 64 console. And keeping its car slot opens this 2x8 Lego brick. This is my only N64 game at the moment, Super Mario 64. This is a plastic card. And on it is a piece of sandpaper. So what I did was I put the sandpaper on the card with its rough side out then like so and then I folded it over and if there was any excess in the side I would fold those in two. Then I'll stick the side of the card with the sand paper on it into the card. Reach that. It's right here. I know. You can see these, the red stuff on the sandpaper itself. 
goes from some of those pins in that cartridge slot. By the way, I was sticking like this. And once it's in there real good, I would I would move this plastic card side to side. At first in work and it was because I only did it a few seconds at a time, but once I've done it for almost from for for about one half minute at once, that was when it really worked. I know. After that, the last of the sand, which lasted which once which again lasted me about one and a half minutes. I plugged in the console into this game cartridge and turned it on and it was working. Of course, before I did this, I had to unplug the console to avoid the risk of electrocution. That's what you have to do too if your going to repair a game console. Especially it'll most likely involve opening it up. You have just to start the experiment. Now this experiment is gonna last for a week and this is only day one of the experiment itself. I know. And for that experiment I'll be testing out Den64 multiple times every day for a week. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping the console will last for the entire week without any additional cleaning or sanding done to the pins in its cartridge slot. I know. I mean, I really hope that the solution will make the console last for years to come. And I can't wait to publish the results of the experiment. All right, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment for future content. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. This is Carl the Great signing out. Peace.